I believe I ordered his execution. Uh. Uh. Master? Have you forsaken humanity? We are wardens, those who rehabilitate prisoners. What? Something speaks to me in my mind. Our true duty is not to kill. Help! for true rehabilitation. We are not executioners. That is the truth we had forgotten. We've decided. We will not forsake humanity. <laughs> Your right eye... and my left. It's as if they're the same yet mirrored. Ah, uh, now is the time for our wish to be realized. I finally remember how we were torn apart. We were originally one, yet we were torn asunder into halves by malevolent intent. <laughs> so we were captives, same as you. Huh. <laughs> to think we'd learn that truth from a prisoner. Let us reclaim our true form. Hey, we'll give you your last job. Be thankful and obey. You must fuse us together with your own hands. It's time you return the favor for us assisting with your growth. Do it with care. Now, fuse us! My name is Lavenza. I was torn apart by a malevolent will and took the form of those twins. I sought help before my body was split in two. If we lose you, the path to the Holy Grail will forever be closed. That's why you must recall the truth once more. And I beg of you, please, Save us. I believed in you. I knew that you would make it thus far. And to the scoundrel who has swindled my master's name, your lies shall work no longer now that my sight has been restored. The game isn't over yet. Whether the human world is left as is, or destroyed and rebuilt, it is all sport to me. Be careful. If I were to put it into words that you can comprehend, I am the Holy Grail that grants wishes. No. It may be more accurate to say that I am a god who responds to desire and holds dominion over man. I hoped seeing a righteous thief vanquish evil would spur mankind to change their own indolent hearts. 
However, the result is, as you know, the masses have made it so none of it has transpired. Humans should be met with ruin. You brought forth that answer. But to be frank, inmate, I believe it may be worth re-evaluating you. A human has reached the Holy Grail and has seen through my true identity. You've surprised the god that I am often enough. That cannot be done by a foolish commoner. You truly were a prisoner that did not bore me. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened the ultimate secret of the fool, granting thee infinite power. All right. All right. Perhaps observing you a while longer may prove amusing. I shall grant you an opportunity to make a deal with me. Should you wish it, I shall return the world to its prior state, one rampant with distorted masses. You forcefully dragged him into the Metaverse and imposed an ordeal he did not deserve. Yet you still intend on toying with him? The Phantom Thieves will be praised and gain fame. The world will escape ruin as well. What say you? Quite a while since I last stepped foot in this place. Welcome to the Velvet Room. My name is Igor. I am pleased to make your acquaintance. He is the rightful master of this Velvet Room, the true aid on your journey. It may be difficult for you to understand this all at once. If I were to summarize this, the fake has left, and the real has returned. Indeed. My master has returned, and you won against that malevolent god's temptation. Thus, you may be able to save this world that is headed towards certain ruin. However, it will prove difficult to win against him with your power alone. You must release your teammates, with whom you've shared your conviction. <laughs> this place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. They have not necessarily expired yet. Just as you were trapped here, they should be confined somewhere as well. Since you've deepened your bond with them, I am certain you can release them. Once they, the Phantom Thieves, are all gathered here, we will tell you everything. Now go forth to the people whom you should be facing the truth with.
Oh, Joker. I'm relieved. Looks like we're both still alive. Am I really safe, though? Shibuya. What happened? And where are we? Velvet Room? That name sounds pretty kick-ass. <sighs> I guess my fears turned out to be true. The real world is a scary place. Pain like this can never reach you if you keep yourself cooped up indoors. Who am I to think I can tell the people what to do? I mean, I used to be a shut-in myself. Damn it. I just want to go home. But even that would be tough now. Giving up would be too painful. You know, I think I've changed. I don't know when it happened, but I can't... I can't let people suffer like this, even if I don't know them personally. Grown? Honestly, this all seems like a bit too much, but... but... Hmm. Mm-hmm. I've known the right answer from the very beginning. I don't want to run away from this. I ran from my mom's death for so long. I misunderstood it. Everything was just too painful for me to handle. But I never want to be left in the dark again. That's probably why my persona is a little bit special. Because I want to learn the truth. That's how I really feel. Well, I've come this far. I'll follow you wherever you go, on my own two feet! You have such a strong heart, Joker. You saved me yet again. Thanks. I'm so happy. Like, so much that I can't even express it in my normal words. Anyway, we're going up against a god. I couldn't even leave my own room before, but now we're gonna beat a god! I'm so pumped! And wait a sec, I just noticed I got out of here on my own! Ta-da! A real jailbreak! Whoa, you're quick to act! That's what makes you dependable. Alright, time to get back at it! Hey, hey! Yep. Yo, looks like we're both somehow still alive and kicking, but where at? Huh? Velvet? Man, this prison cell kind of makes me think of when we first met. I remember how Shibuya was all effed up just now, but like, nobody was seeing any of it. No, it was more like they didn't want to see any of it. What the hell? So, even all them people who are suffering and cheering for us to come and help them, in reality, they would have rather just had everything stay how it was? Did what we were doing have any meaning at all? <laughs> You're so freaking tough. You know, back when I thought we were gonna die, without learning the truth about all this, I kind of felt for the first time that maybe we hadn't been doing the right thing. That maybe we deserved to lose. You get me? Now that I'm thinking about it, I, I started all this because of how pissed off I was. Maybe it's never been about winning, or anything like that. Maybe all I was doing was just... Continue in my own defiance. It's fine? <laughs> You're right. I get it now. We're doing this to make sure people don't gotta go through the same crap we did. It doesn't matter if they think we're just or not. We gotta do what we believe in. <laughs> it's not like people think much of me anyways. I'm gonna dash through this the only way I know how! Heh, 
You got me out of prison. Just like before. Thanks. You know, it's kind of embarrassing to say this, but, uh, I'm really glad I met you. All right. I'm done getting my ass kicked. That shiny bastard acts like it's some kind of god. I ain't gonna feel good till we deal with it. Let's head out. We're gonna take down that asshole, yeah? Hey. We'll be counting on ya. Everything that has happened to the city, I wonder if the citizenry is okay. Although, it seemed like we were the only ones able to see it. You know, the moment I disappeared, I honestly thought I was about to die. But, part of me wasn't afraid. I knew that was all I could do, and looked forward to apologizing to Father face to face. Honestly, I thought I had changed. But I realize now that I still have no control over my life. It makes me sick. I'm sorry. I know you don't want to deal with my whining. You're going to try and defeat that thing again, aren't you? Don't push yourself to get me to come along. You can always leave me here if I'll slow you down. That's... That's right. I was foolish to think you should abandon me. Even if there are times where I think there's nothing I can do, I'll never stop fighting for you or our team. I won't give up anymore. Just as I betrayed my distorted father before, I will betray my boring former self now. Thank you, Joker. Before I met you, I had great admiration for the Phantom Thieves of Justice. And it's turned out you were exactly the person I always imagined you would be. This is the second time you've rescued me. I've secretly longed for a situation like this. We haven't lost yet. Um... Um... Oh, Joker. Thank goodness you're safe. Oh, yeah. Huh. So, I'm not in heaven after all. That means the hell that Shibuya turned into was all real. <sighs> I'm so weak. When I thought I was gonna die, I... started trembling. <sighs> I was just so scared. At that moment, nothing mattered. The justice of our actions was the last thing on my mind. Joker... You kept going, even through a plan that might have ended up killing you. Yet look at me. I've always said I'm doing this for other people. But that didn't get me far. <laughs> it's no wonder we lost. Maybe I should have just behaved myself and stayed out of all this. That's... You're right. I can never abandon her. If I whine like this now... I'd just be betraying Shiho. No. I'd be betraying myself. I could never forget how I felt that day. I... I never want anyone to have to go through what I did. I've made up my mind. I'm going to keep looking forward. Things like dying or losing aren't important now. All that matters is that I don't return to my old self. 
I'll never make a mistake like that again. I swear it. Thanks, Joker. You helped me remember what's really important. I seriously treasure being able to be a part of your team. Gotcha, Joker. It would be a disgrace to the Phantom Thieves' name if we didn't take such a big treasure. We're going to put an end to this, aren't we? Let's go! Hey! Hey! Joker, as I expected, you appear to be safe. However, where exactly are we? Velvet Room? I'm not sure I understand. At first, I was surprised to see the masses chained in a prison. Yet, here I am as well, considering the state of the real world. It is hard to say that we were even remotely helpful. This situation... Can we truly handle such horrid circumstances? All the Phantom Thieves can do is change the hearts of others. However, the world outside has become a veritable hell. Nothing within our power can fix that. I'm merely acknowledging how powerless I am. The people of this world desired their enslavement, and that isn't all. They screamed at us for attacking the Holy Grail. Defended it. Even the criminals whose hearts we changed became meek followers of the Holy Grail because of us. Were we truly that foolish? Risking our lives for a result nobody desired. My justice. I see. Not that for someone else, but... One strictly for myself. When we first met, you continued to impose yourselves on me, no matter how much I pushed you away. I will forever treasure what you did for me. Very well. Just as art is meant to break boundaries, people should be saved even if they frown upon it. I won't allow the justice I believe in to be shaken any further. Allow me to thank you, Joker. Being by your side truly gives rise to the greatest ideas. Ah, yes. We cannot afford to leave reality in the hellish state it's currently in. I will make use of my role as an artist, and paint over the distortions of society. Well then, time to go and see this through. I'll witness with my own two eyes that this world isn't bound by some holy grail. Well then, we will be counting on you. Joker, what a relief. You're safe. I'm not sure what happened, but... We seem to be alive. By the way, why have you remained in your Phantom Thief attire while I'm back in regular clothes? Could this mean that the will of rebellion is no longer within me? <laughs> that may be true. We have to fight that Holy Grail again, correct? Could you imagine defeating it, Joker? That monster has the support of the masses, and with it, nearly an infinite amount of power. I... No matter which way I approach the subject in my head, nothing points to our victory. I think I finally, genuinely understand the pain my father and my sister were burdened with. Victory against a single criminal is meaningless. The true enemy is society itself. And even against that foe, 
You still have to try to somehow emerge victorious. I don't know what to do. Joker. You're right. It's a bad habit of mine. The more critical the situation, the less I want to rely on others. Regardless, this isn't a situation with a straightforward answer. But even if there is no clear solution, I'll just have to make one. With my own two hands. Before you guys came along, my life was defined by rules. Set on a path of someone else's choosing. But only a true loser would live such a rigid life. I... I will win. Even if it means going up against the entire world. I'm okay. My resolve was shaken, but... It's stronger now. I want the people of the world to see what you've shown me. Right. Thank you. Having teammates you can trust is a great feeling. Shall we go? We can't let our last big job end in failure. What is this place? Who are they? My name is Igor. I am the master of the Velvet Room. I am Lavenza, a resident of this place as well. We have been waiting for all of you. Velvet Room? My master has just been released from a long period of imprisonment. His powers have not fully returned, though it may be presumptuous of me. I will speak on his... Hey, where's Morgana? Would you like to see him? He's right over there. That's where you were hiding? I... was born here. It was to dispel an evil being from man's spiritual world. Mona? My role was to find the trickster and help him defeat it. That's why I was created here by my master. Indeed. I really remember everything. When this place was about to be taken over, my master gathered the last traces of mankind's hope. He mustered up his remaining strength to make me. The entity that calls itself a god is a malevolent will that forces man into everlasting servitude. It hopes to attain eternal peace by filling reality with those who have stopped thinking for themselves. That is the ruin of man that this evil god envisions. I... um... don't get what you're saying at all. Oh, be quiet and listen! We don't have much time left! W wait a moment. The Holy Grail is... A, a god? I was wondering why it had a will of its own, but... Are you implying that it... Isn't a treasure? No. As the distorted desires of the masses, it is most certainly the core of Mementos itself. Then, did the treasure become a god because people wish to be ruled over? That is correct. To decide the fate of the world, it chose two people with potential and pitted them against each other. One, Goro Akechi, incited the masses' distortion. Had he won, the world would have been destroyed and remade. The other was a trickster who would stand up against this. That was him. If he won, the human world would be left as is. Those were the conditions of the game. At least, that's what should have happened. That malevolent being knew that a revolution would not occur within indolent humans. After all, it is the masses' distorted desires incarnate. However, my true master believed in humanity. He believed that a trickster would rise among the people and accomplish this change. But that evil entity laughed at the prospect and sought to prove the powerlessness of man with the game. And he had great potential, which is why it approached him. It helped train the trickster only to cast him into despair. 
using the masses who rejected their savior. This was likely its means to nip in the bud anything that would pose a threat. Now that I think back to when I was separated, I felt a disagreement to the word rehabilitation. Of course I did. It was just a means for the fake to keep you under surveillance. Basically, this guy was dragged into a game where the evil god rigged the outcome. Damn it! What the hell? Your real world has already been fused with mementos. You do not exist because reality is replete with the cognition of those who deny the Phantom Thieves. It can be said that the world is one step away from the evil god's machinations. However, there is still hope. Now that the evil god's identity has been exposed, you can see your rehabilitation to its completion. Only you can leave this prison and save this distorted world and its captive people. Young man, guided by Morgana and worthy of the trickster name, you must challenge the evil god and reclaim your existence in reality. Are you up to the task? Let's destroy that annoying shiny treasure jerk for sure this time! <laughs> Excellent. There is nothing to fear. You already possess the strength to oppose this evil god. <laughs> I am truly looking forward to this. Our mutual friend knows where the exit is. Morgana, please guide them and thank you for all that you've done. It's a cruel responsibility that's been cast upon you. I will accept your words of appreciation fully when everything is over. Now follow me!